We are at Albert Pallet Park in Miami doing a shoreline cleanup. We have 50 fifth grade students and their parents from West Lab Elementary cleaning up plastic debris that is washed up from the bay. The students invited nine city commission candidates from District 2 to join us. Five candidates showed up, including Ken Russell, Mike Simpson, Seth Sklarly, Grace Solaris, and Lori Woods. Dear candidate Solaris, I am writing to invite you to our school bay cleanup event on Saturday, October 17, 2015. All right, so uh, Ken Russell, yeah. what'd you find? I found some plastic mulch, basically. We've, we're almost out of soil here. It's just layers and layers of broken microplastics mixed in, and you can imagine how, how bite-sized this is for sea life. So what are you seeing here? Styrofoam. That's Lots of styrofoam? Tell me about it. What do you know about styrofoam? Okay, it's bit in pieces, and when it's bit in pieces in the ocean, uh, a fish can eat it, and when fish eats it, um, they could, then we eat it. If they die, we eat it, and then we're eating all this styrofoam. There's lots of things being done across the country in, in various municipalities. There's, uh, cities are uh, encouraging businesses to stop using plastic bags, uh, use more uh, reusable and recyclable materials in the city. Uh, just the simple act of making sure that municipal trash cans have lids on them so that raccoons aren't throwing things out. Because this is disastrous. We need to do something and something quick. I mean, the, the city cannot continue to ignore this issue. We just can't. And I would like to do as much as possible, not to just get this little group of people here involved in this thing, but to do something. Go to the radio, go to the television, do whatever is necessary. Bring you to the city commission to do a presentation with your children, yourself. So do you have any ideas on, uh, on, on what you might be able to do if you are elected as a city a Miami commissioner? Well, cleanups like this are a great idea, but I'd like to get to where we don't need cleanups like this. If we can start at the root source and the cause of where the, the pollution is coming from and put in incentive systems to reduce this type of waste. And then it's about education and then it's about systems the government can put in place and, uh, and then it's enforcement. Once I make it as commissioner, city commissioner, we're going to have one day that you're all going to come in and you're all going to speak and your children are going to show up as well as the children who actually wrote letters to the candidates. Competition, say. Listen, yes, a lot of our garbage is floating up from foreign waters, but you know what? We're producing a lot of it ourselves in our own streets, just discard cars. Just what's in the streets get washed by rain and all of our streets are a funnel going into our waterways. I would think someone's got a great idea about some storm drain covers. Where these storm drain covers will actually filter the water before it gets to the bay. So that it, you know, solid waste gets picked up in the street. Don't no, you think, Lori? I would agree on that. I think that we could actually go as easy as taking chicken wire and putting that anywhere over any storm That's drain. That's better than nothing, Working I agree. that versus paying people and using fuel combustion machines to suck stuff out of storm drains. Exactly. Get it before it gets in there, right? So Dirty high five. <laughs> <laughs> This problem affects all coastal cities, not just the city of Miami. But realizing this trash comes from us, some cities have started working on solutions. For example, Miami Beach is leading with a number of initiatives, including a citywide styrofoam ban and installing storm drain gratings to prevent trash at the street level from getting into the storm drain systems and thus entering out to the bay. What do you think that the city of Miami should do in order to mitigate this problem? Well, I think the first thing we need to do is to other municipalities. What are they doing about this issue? I mean, you just talked about the city of Miami Beach. Why don't we actually begin doing the same thing? What about Fort Lauderdale? What about Palm Beach? What are they doing? Let us all come together and come with a very solid plan to actually make it work. West Lab Elementary students picked up 210 pounds of trash, learned to engage with future local government leaders, and started a very important conversation. They are change makers and eco heroes. To get involved in your local community, go to volunteercleanup.org.